All right, Danny just started up the first pitch in his homemade Russian aiders. Wow. They're working great. All right, Slack. Mm. Thank you. You're welcome. Here's our new friends. Hey. Let's see. Wow. Well, we're cruising up here with our Russian aiders. And we're all free free. Hey, cat. Hey, everyone. We made some new friends down there from Georgia. It's pretty cool to run into them. Whew. Well, we're at the top of the first pitch. I uh, started hauling. Got the rope fixed for Cat. She's getting ready to come up here. I got to use my new Russian aiders. They work pretty freaking good. Not gonna lie, I was pretty happy with that. Um, climbing on this ion sandstone took me a minute to kind of figure out these pods and placing gear. I was like just missing obvious pods. So I got that figured out now. So hopefully I'll be able to run a little bit quicker up this next one. Not that I was too slow on that last one, but let's see if we can get this. Doing a one-to-one -one haul. <laughs> it's really hard to film. <laughs> there we go. And then we haul. Oh man. Unfortunately, I got my, uh, I messed up my little main camera I shoot with, so a lot of this is gonna be filmed on my phone or maybe a little bit on my 360, but that's not a good camera for my helmet. So we'll see how it goes. But I'm gonna finish hauling this bag up here. So there's Cat climbing up to me. Very pretty out here today. But I got both bags. Let's do the wide lens. I got both bags docked. And just pulling some water out of this bag. We can put this back on now. There we go. Got that back. The bags are docked. And I docked them on the left side. Because it looks like the next pitch goes up and left. So I don't want the bag to come across Cat. So I put it on the left side. But we're pretty well set up. We're going to take a minute relax until Cat gets up here. Alright. So we're in the roof. I got my piece placed. I'm about to pull it and catch down there. Give me the belay of her life. Woo! All right. Look at, look at the kale. Look at that. Oh, it's awful. That one scared me. That one down there was walking, sliding out. And there's Cat. Hey, Cat! We got friends coming up. All right, so I'm at the top pitch, too. I messed up. I forgot the haul line. I brought the haul kit, but not the haul line. What's your plan? Do you want me to attach the blue line and then you're going to pull it up and then haul the blue line? Or are you going to pull it on and just Just attach the blue line to the, the cluster of cams and I'll pull it up to me. Once I have the, the blue line, I can haul. Yeah, so I screwed up, but luckily this pitch is right at half a 70 meter rope length. Give me a second, that was first screw. Uh, but it's right at the end, or the halfway point of the 70 meter. So I clipped all my cams I had left to the end of the rope, dropped it down, and swung it to him. I'm surprised it reached him. The wind's working against me. Okay, let me flip the phone around. All right. I got the rope down to him. So, I'm gonna pull the rope up and start hauling. Doing it. There goes the bag! Woohoo! Alright, let's do it. Let's do it. Here we go. Alright, we're hauling. Can we sit down? Oh, I can't do this as hard as you one handed. Ah! We stand up. Oh, I can't do this. Alright, there we go. There we go. Pull the slack through. Slide down. Let's see if we can do this. There we go. Got my stance better. Pull slack through. It's a one to one, so we really gotta sit on it. <laughs> but the bag's getting close. It's uh, right there. I think honestly the wind blew it past the roof, so I didn't get stuck, which is pretty cool. Alright, let's get it up there. First. So I got the haul bags, both of them. They're docked right here. And uh, cat's coming up to me, but let's take a look at the next pitch. So here it is. It's supposed to be C1, I think. 
something like that. I don't know. I think it also goes free at 5'11", but I'm not free climbing it. I'm not climbing that hard on this thing. So, got three more pitches to do. This one, and then two more, and we can set up our bivy. If need be, we can set it up earlier. We got the ledges in the bag here. But bottom bags, food and water. Top bag is ledges, all that stuff. Probably could have got away with one bag, but ah, screw it. So, Kat's uh, cleaning the pit. She's coming up to me right here at the end. I don't know if you can see it. I went from a piece like every four or five feet to every like 10 feet. I realized I was gonna run out of gear. So I started back cleaning as I went. But I might set a ledge up here in a minute because this is a really uncomfortable hanging belay. Oh my god, it's windy. Alright, so we're at the top pitch three. Three. Do a little free climbing right there at the end. Um, started dumping all the aid stuff because the next two pitches go free. Might do some French free, but should do mostly free climbing. I'm gonna drop these gloves, put on my actual crack gloves. Oh, there's Cat. Which thing she wants? Hey, what's up? I don't know. I don't know what she wants, but okay, I'll start hauling. But yeah, all right, let me start hauling. All right, what I was trying to say is we got two more pitches before we hit a big ledge, and that's where we want to baby tonight. So we're trying to get the first five pitches done today. We got not a super early start. I think we started at like ten, so we probably should have started a little bit earlier. Give ourselves more time, but hopefully the next two free pitches go a lot quicker because we got about three hours till sunset and we still have the haul and it's off with it's 5 10. So we'll see how it goes. But let me show you the ledge. So we got a three piece anchor. I really wish they were bolts. I mean, there's nothing wrong with these, but I wish they were bolts, it would make me feel so much better. Um, so yeah, up there, way up there, right up where that tree is, where we want to get to to sleep tonight. It's not too steep, kind of low angle, so hopefully it's not too bad. I don't know. And then cat's coming up from down there. I can see the bag poking over the lip, but I'm waiting for her to catch up because she's got the tail. If it gets stuck, she's got to yank on the tail to get it unstuck. All right. See how it goes. And here comes Catherine. Topping out the third pitch. And she has a nice big ledge waiting on her. Woo! All right, I've had a chance to really use these Russian aiders quite a bit. Pretty big fan. I like them a lot. They're working really, really well. Um, need to work on this portion, the portion that goes down on my leg. Uh, here is the foot loop right here. And right here on the edge of the foot loop, so it's upside down right now. This is the top of the foot loop. The thing was like digging in. You can actually see it a bit digging in there because it kept sliding back on my foot and digging in. I was really worried it was gonna slide up and off, but it didn't do that, so. Maybe just taller socks. I don't know. There's some padding on it. Something. But otherwise, pretty big fan. It works really well. Uh, steep stuff. You still have to use a adjustable daisy. Lower angle stuff's really good because you can just, as you get so much support, you can just stand up. Yeah, lower angle stuff. It's like straight vert and slightly low angle. You can just stand at them. It's really, really nice. If you're good, you can kind of get the hook to go in without reaching down and lining up the loop and the hook together. Uh, steeper stuff, you definitely still need to use a um, adjustable daisy, like all Fifi or something. If it's just a little bit overhung, you can kind of fight it. But if it starts getting kind of steep, you just fall back. So, cool thing is, is you don't have to use a 
adjustable daisy on most terrain. You can just run up them, leapfrog them, and run up them. It's able to climb pretty fast. But you gotta dial them in a little bit. And uh, otherwise, pretty happy with them. Okay, we're hauling at the top of pitch four. We got one more to go. There we go. So, baby, we got an hour and a half for Cat to follow and for both of us to lead the next one. But I'm hauling. We got a one to one going. It's working pretty good. Finally, have a big enough ledge I can get it in view. Thirsty already. I might be too freaking tired tomorrow to knock out these couple free pitches. I French freed the hell out of that last one. Given was the hardest pitch. It's 510. And I just, I'm shot from all the hauling. Everything else. I'm gonna get this bag up here. We'll get some water. Let's take a look, see what cat's got. So there's our anchor, there's our hole. There's the bag, and there's cat. Following up this thing. We're getting close. So, man, I nearly, I nearly peeled off right here at the end. I was so pumped, but we got one more pitch after the, this one. That goes at 5'9". I want to free it, but at least French free it, but man, I might just ate it. I'm so freaking tired. <sighs> it is gorgeous out here, that's for sure. But let me get this bag up. I need water. Here comes the bag. Come on, come on. There it is. Ah. Yeah. I think weighs just as much as me. Fuck. We'll get some water now. One more pitch. And then we're gonna set up camp and eat. I don't know if we're gonna do the last few pitches tomorrow were pretty shot. I feel pretty accomplished doing five and sleeping overnight and hauling and all that. So we'll see how it goes. It's Catherine. She's coming to join me up on the ledge. Yeah. I put my puppy on. I started getting chilly. We have the final stretch. Order about half of what we just did. I'm so ready to be up there. It's just in time. We got maybe an hour of sunlight left, so it's pretty much perfect. An hour to do one pitch. Well, I made it up here. What do you think, babe? Um, 20 feet. We're pretty high. Uh, I thought you were going to say something. Uh, I want to take a shower and go to sleep, but <laughs> I don't get to shower tonight. I just get to sleep. You get food. Yeah, I'm gonna eat that backpacker pantry sponsor us, please. Pad Thai, that shit is so good. Yeah. All right, let's do it. One pitch to go. Fuck, let's get it done. Woo, it's dark. And me and Catherine are eating food up on the ledge. My favorite meal. Yeah. So I got mine cooking over there. Just waiting for it to finish up. And then. I got both ledges inflated, but I gotta move mine into place. Cat's good to go. She's in her sleeping bag and everything. Mm. But we're gonna go sleep, and maybe we'll wake up in the morning and want to climb more, but I doubt it. <laughs> Probably gonna go down. I feel accomplished, so we'll see how it goes. All right, it's the next morning, and we're gonna go down. <laughs> I don't know. I feel accomplished. I think we'll have more fun if we go down to go down and do some other stuff. It's like three, five, nine pitches and a five, six, and we're just not feeling it. I don't know. We're going to go down and look at doing some canyoning. Some canyoning. I'm not sure yet. But Kat is repelling. Let me show you. She's down there with one of the two haul bags. I get the other one right here. And we got, I don't know. I don't know how many repels. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. We're five pitches up. So, I don't know. Probably five, pit, five repels, I guess. We'll see. So we have gotten three repels done. 
And luckily, I think our friends from the other day, or yesterday, left a fixed line to the ground. So we're gonna use that fixed line to get down, make things a little bit simpler. Jesus Christ, I didn't realize how high we had gotten. This is a long way. I was like, oh man, we only did five pitches yesterday. Five pitches, those are long pitches. This is a long way up. I will say, rappelling over that lip was absolutely terrifying. Stepping over that lip and then all of a sudden having a few hundred feet of exposure under your ass is a lot. But I could go down, but I'm gonna hang out here to help Cat out or get in the way. I'm not sure which. <laughs> But I feel like she might want some help here. We'll see what happens. Here comes Kat. I love her. Woo woo! <laughs> How's that fucking exposure right there? Look, there she is with the haul bag. I got it set up pretty good for her. She just clips in that green green goes. Yeah. You just get that on, your belay loop, get your weight on it, and then you can take your ATC off and just go. And like I said, the rope's tied to the ground, so I, I know it reaches. Here, I can, you can go down lower. Let me stop the camera. All right, well, I've moved on to a grigri. I still got my PAS backed up, but I used a sling right here on my foot so I could stand up far enough to tighten the grigri. To get slack off of this because I got a freaking like 80 pound haul bag hanging off of me and I did not think about that before I uh attached my PAS and just lowered myself onto it kind of screwed myself but it wasn't too bad it's easy fix but we're gonna hit to the head to the ground there it is there's the ground down there Jesus Christ we went a long way I really didn't understand how high we'd gone yesterday I felt like five pitches wasn't a ton but after repelling it it was a long long way up well, last repel, let's get on the ground.